Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, in your Apex launcher, how to uh, make folders and put apps into folders to clear up screen space. Okay, first uh, you're seeing the recording come up. I'm using a uh, screen capture program to show you how this is done. Uh, first you will go to, get back to your home screen, hit the home button, whatever type of phone you may have. Uh, and this is the Apex Launcher. Uh, you're going to Apex Settings. You have several different options here under Apex Settings. Uh, under Drawer Settings, you will have uh, Portrait and Landscape. This is only if you've got it going sideways. I personally don't use uh, anything but Portrait on the home screen because it makes it, uh, it, it, the grid ends up being wrong and it overlaps and you can't see it. I've set this note to seven by six, uh, seven rows, six columns, and that basically makes it where it's uh, uh, it has plenty of room even for the names at the bottom. Now what you will do is you will go to now you see I've got gobs of apps on here. You have several different styles uh, of the way you uh, lay these in here. I personally give them names, and then when they are opened up. As you can see, all the apps are in the folder. These are folders, and it will show the first four uh, applications in a row, uh, and then the others don't show. If you let it overlap, it's just one on top of uh, uh, each other all the way down through. Uh, I find that this kind of lets me see, even though I'm half blind, uh, can see the applications that are in the folder on top of the label that I give it. So see down here, you can click, these are all uh, type of explore programs. Uh, you can tap on this and change the name uh, to whatever you want. And uh, I'm just kind of showing you here, explorer, uh, whatever, whatever makes it easier for you to remember what it is. You can go into any of these. So to create one of these folders, you hold down, uh, and you can also add Apex Actions, but to, to add an app uh, to the screen, you'll click on that, and then it will open up. Uh, I've got so many apps, it's really so slow. You'll click on Apps, and uh, you put a main app on the screen. Uh, like I said, it takes it a little while because I've got over 400 apps on this phone. So it takes it a while to bring it up. Uh, you can also add... Uh, apps by clicking on uh, the uh, screen and I don't know why this thing's lagging it's lagging pretty bad okay uh, say Adobe Reader for instance okay now you've got that on there say you want another reading app or word or whatever it might be uh, shortcuts uh, applications and then like I say it takes it forever because it has to go through all the apps that I have on this phone and I've got, I think, 430 apps running on this phone. So it takes it a while to get all of them in a list. Okay, for instance, Adobe Reader. And uh, I'm trying to find something, another app that relates to uh, reading type. Uh, Amazon would be, uh, let's see if I've got the Amazon app on here. I'm looking. Uh, yeah, right there, Kindle. Okay, now see, now you've got two apps. Uh, and you want them in a folder together. You just take, hold, and then lay it on top of the other one, and then you've got a folder. And then when you click on it, uh, you can put reading apps, whatever you want to put. Uh, and boom. And then when you hit undo, you've got that, and you can move it around just like an icon anywhere on the screen. And uh, I found another good way to move these from screen to screen a lot of times when you try to take them and slide them they do move but another good way to do this is to down at the bottom in your toolbar is keep one toolbar empty and when you want to move from screen to screen in apex which i think it allows you nine home screens uh you can click and hold and get back this brings up your all the things running but you can uh, hit your application twice and it has your phone. It, you've also got a, uh, uh, a widget where you can have your own tabs up here at the top and put and make a tab for each type of application. 
uh, and, it, and basically it's infinity. You go under the uh, manage apps screen. No, that was actually under the wrong one there. You go under manage your drawer and see you basically can make as many drawers as you want, name them anything you want. And then when you click on one, you can go through and put check marks beside everything that you want under that drawer. So music, you know, you put Rhapsody, uh, Spotify, Radio, Pandora, and put that all in your music folder. So when you click out of it, uh, and you go up here to your app drawer and under uh, music, which I don't think I put it, yeah, okay, here we go. I haven't done anything in my music. So, for instance, uh, manage drawer, you would go under, uh, let me find music. And then, uh, so I want Rhapsody. Rhapsody would be, let me get here to key that. That looks like I've got mountains of apps on here. Uh, get to it here. We'll get down to it. There's a Pandora, uh, radio, and uh, radio, Rhapsody. Where is it at? Uh, and there's one other one I use, Spotify, there's a couple others I can't think of right on, Slacker Radio, uh, Spotify, and of course SoundHound, and uh, uh, I'm looking for uh, Shazam, basically as your, uh, oh. okay, and then hit save. Now, when you back out of this, get back to it over here. When you hit, I've got mine set when I hit, uh, unless say it's got just gobs of apps, so it takes it forever. Uh, I go over to music, and you will see that everything under the music folder is now in there of the apps that I selected. Now, you can't move these around, but what you can do is after you get them in here, uh, and sometimes you have to click on them and then re-click on them get them to show up. Okay, so now you've got them in alphabetical order. Say you want to put one on one particular screen, you hold on to it, and then say it'll let you pick the screens that you want to go to. So I'll put it right there, boom, and now I've got Rhapsody on there. And if I want to take and put, uh, uh, again, go back to my menu, and I want to add another one, uh, I want uh, Radio 2, and I take it, and then I put it over here on the screen. Okay, and I can basically slide that in there, and see now I have the folder, uh, and then I can put, I didn't want to open that up there. Get back out of that. Get out of that. Uh, I want to rename this Radio. Let's put that right. And now on that screen, I've got that. And then just click on them once you open it up. And that's basically how you make folders under the Apex. Nova and Apex are actually owned by the same people. But I've had some problems with Nova Launcher. So I've switched over to Apex. And it has a lot more features than Nova. Some more features that Nova just doesn't have. Another one is the app drawer. Uh, when you click on the app drawer, they have an arrange. Uh, it's the same. You can take these and drag them uh, wherever you want them. And then when you get out of your app drawer, uh, when it pulls it up, they're in that particular order that you put them in. They're not in alphabetical order. Uh, and like I say, this thing just takes forever to bring them up because i got so many apps on here. But see now, I've got system and all apps where I drug it to. And this slider slides over however you want it. Okay, that's been my uh, uh, kind of helping out on the folders uh, section of the Apex Launcher and how to make folders to where it will, uh, you can basically do whatever you need to on arranging your stuff to get more stuff on the screen. If you get a smaller phone, then it really helps. I really uh, like it where you see how many apps I've got on here, where I can arrange them and get to them quickly without having to thumb through a million apps. Uh, so anyway, uh, be sure to like me on the uh, YouTube channel there, and I appreciate you watching, 
and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uh, demoing and uh, giving demonstrations and how to uh, use your smartphone and droid device. Thanks again for subscribing and be sure to like me and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.